Hello, my CNC brother or sister. If you've been wondering what a work offset is and limit sensors or limit switches, this video, we're gonna cover that. Liberty here asked me a question of why does she even have them on the machine that she's building? And so we're gonna cover that. So with that, we're gonna get into this video. So let's rock this out. IDCwoodcraft.com. So I finished putting the homing sensors on the corners that it told me to, um, but to be honest, I'm not exactly sure what to do from here or what they do. Well, you, so you don't understand the homing sensors? Yeah, I don't know what they do. Okay. All and right. I don't know how to work It's them. a really good question, and uh, so this is something a lot of people don't always understand. What's the purpose of homing switches, and do you need them or not? So we're going to... We got the long mill here. You got you got a workspace, right? You got right. a limit from here to here and from here to there that it can cut. It can't cut outside here, right? Right. Okay. So, so let's let's get to the board, and we're going to draw up this machine. What we have here is let's just pretend this is the physical limit that the machine can actually travel. Where it actually, if you ran the machine backwards. It's going to hit the back brackets. That's a physical hard stop. That's what we call a hard stop. Okay. So what we've drawn here in my Chinese way of drawing <laughs> is the hard stop. So the machine physically cannot go past this point in the Y direction. Okay. And it cannot go past this point in the X direction. All right. So these are, these are just... It's like running into a wall with your right. hand. You just you just can't go past it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, go ahead. What the what are the soft stops then? So, okay, that's where the homing switches come in. Okay. All right. So there's two reasons for these homing switches. Number one is to stop it from hitting the hard stop. Right. Okay. So in this type of machine, uh, when when you're telling it to go somewhere either through G-code or manually, mm -hmm. it is going to, it'll just keep going, keep going, keep going, it's gonna hit the hard stop. But that the, the control software is gonna think it's keep it's still moving. Okay, Okay. so, so it's gonna keep running. Yeah, so you know there's a start point of a project. Right. You know, it's like this Merry Christmas block, so we'll just say it's on the machine, there's that little corner there, mm -hmm. that's our zero point. Right. All right, so we've set that as our zero point. So let's just say you're moving the machine back. We know that this is X, X zero, Y zero, right? Right. Okay. And then we just start moving the machine back, 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 back for whatever reason. Just because you want the machine completely out of your way. All right. And you move it back and it hits this hard stop, but the computer is still counting these steps. Okay. Okay. So what's happening now is it's not physically moving, but it thinks it's moving. And what's happening is now it's saying, okay, now I'm... It thinks it's bigger than it is. 50 inches. Well, no, it doesn't think it's bigger. It's, it's, it's thinking it's moved to 50 inches when we got a limit of 30 inches. Okay. Okay. And now, but it's physically stopped there. So now when you say, oh, let's go back to, to Y0, which would be this way down to here. Mm-hmm. Now it's going to try to move 50 inches from where it thinks it is way up here. But it's actually here, and it's going to move down, 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 down. And then it's going to hit this hard stop, but it still thinks it's going. And there's nothing to tell the computer that we are at our our limit. Right. Okay. So, so the machine without limit switches, it's a completely open world. We could drive the machine to Paris if we wanted to. <laughs> at least it thinks it's going to go there. All right. So let's get into the soft limit switches. So do you get understand that part? Yeah. Okay. All right. Briefly explain it back. So it tells it where it's at. So it doesn't think it's bigger than it is. So it can keep all the X, Y, zeros all in track. And it doesn't think it's distance is longer right. than it actually yeah, is. Yeah, roughly. roughly. That's you, a very you, bad you, way you, of explaining it. But but my brain knows I know it. Okay. <laughs> so now we have homing switches. Okay. okay. And what those do is set something called machine home. Okay. Okay. Machine home. This, again, this is the physical limit the machine can travel. 
that can okay. literally not travel outside this 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 zone. Right? That's, motion. that's this and this. Yeah, yeah, okay. the brackets. So now we add in the homing switches, and the homing switches are set somewhere inside of this bracket or inside of this box. So we'll just say right here, the X, we got the Y homing switch right there and the X homing switch right here. Okay. So what's going to happen is the machine is coming back in X and it senses that switch and it stops. It comes this way in the Y direction, hits that switch and it stops. It says, this is my machine zero point that I'm going to start and reference everything from. When it hits that in the control, when you have your control, which is like G sender here. Okay. Um, we, when it hits that homing, what it does, it sets zero Y and, um, and zero X and also sets zero Z because it moves up and down as you already saw. Right. Okay. And what that, and so now we have a machine zero point. This is like the reference point for everything from here on out. And it does, here's where it does two things. In the software, in the control software, in G Center here, like for right now, uh, we have uh, X and Y is at home. Okay, it's at zero. Mm -hmm. If I tell it to go home, which I'm going to hit the home switch, which is right here, and the, it's what it's doing now is it's slowly moving to check itself on these on these sensors. And now if we look at the control, um, everything zero, the Z is not zero. Uh, but I'm, no, the, the X and Y are zero. The Z is because we set something already. Right. But those are still home reference points. We can literally not go above that Z reference point. So in the software, this is where it kind of gets interesting. We have a box that's created. Inside of the limit? Inside of the physical limits of the machine. Okay. Okay. And in the control software, we have told the software, we have created this, what we call soft limit box. Okay. Okay. So when it knows where this home position is right here, and we try to literally move the machine outside of this range, the control is actually monitoring that. And it says once, let's just say this is 30 inches for the physical, 30 inches for the physical, and we set it to 29 inches for the soft. Okay. <clears throat> as soon as that machine hits 29, it's going to stop. Okay. And as soon as it hits 29 up here, it's going to stop. It will not hit these, these switches here. So we're already set here, right? So we have set our physical, our soft limits on the machine. If you try to move it, all, just try to move it all the way back. And what you're going to do on the G Sender software, you're going to just hold the pointer down and hold it down until the machine just stops. So we're going to the back corner and the machine will not hit the hard limits. I'm still holding it. Yeah. Now, if, if we didn't have a homing sequence in this, <clears throat> it would continue on and it would hit the hard limits. So that's what sets soft limits. Okay. Okay. So now just bring it back just a little bit. Okay. Good enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to force the machine to go outside those soft limits. Okay. Okay. By typing in a code into the console part of this computer. So we're in the console panel right now. Okay. In G Sender. And down here, you want to click down here. And we're going to type in G0. With any dashes? No dashes. And so G0 tells it's going in a rapid move. Okay. Okay. Meaning it's going as fast as it can go based on what's set in the computer. Now we're going to type in G20. Like, do I hit enter or anything? Nope. Okay. This is one G code line. Now G20 says we're doing everything in inches. Okay. Now we're just going to try to bring X over to 40. Now, so right now the, well, roughly 30 inches, right? Right. Okay. So now type in X 40 point. Now, if you hit enter, the machine is going to give you an alarm. Oh. 
Okay. And that is the alarm code number two. Okay. And that alarm code two says we, says, uh, I got a sheet here. As a matter of fact, uh, if we're doing this on a video, I'm going to link this sheet down below because I get this. But it says soft limit over travel. Okay. It's a soft limit alarm. We told this that we have passed the soft limits. We, so if, <clears throat> so what you'll see from time to time, we're going to go back to the board. We'll get emails or you'll get a phone call. Mm -hmm. And someone's going to say, I get this error too. Why right. am I getting it? So they're saying soft limit. They don't understand. This is exactly why. Because the G code for the project, let's just say, <clears throat> They're running a huge American flag. Right. Right. But the machine limits. Let's, you know, let, here, here's the way to do it. Let's say this American flag is, we'll say it's 28 inches. Okay. And so we know we have a half inch here and a half inch here before we get outside the soft limits. So what's going to happen, let's say they started their zero point over here for that flag. And that flag is theoretically running off the edge of the soft limits. Right. Okay. And so they're going to start to run the G code and they're going to get an alarm. And the alarm is going to say the G code is telling them to go outside the soft limits. Okay. Making sense? Yes. Light bulbs going off? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> At this point in the video, we've covered the homing switches and the soft limits. And so if you feel like this is helping you out, understand what this is all about, why you have these, then maybe give me a thumbs up down below. And also, if you've got some more information you'd like to add, of course, I'd like to see a comment. So let's uh, keep on going. Ready? Let's Ready. do it. All right, so let's, tell, let's talk about the other cool reason why limit switches are here. Okay. All right. This is my favorite part because this goes into if uh, more of people are doing business and they want to make multiple projects, see, we got these guys here. And let's just say you, you're going to make a ton of these cool lion heads. Okay. All right. You're going to make a ton of these cool Merry Christmas blocks. Mm -hmm. And you're going to make a ton of these cool pizza peels, mm -hmm. which, by the way, I've got a video on that uh, you'll want to watch. Uh, a lot, one of the questions I get all the time is, how do you do a taper on a pizza peel? And most people give a really complex answer. They say, you got to have a 3D model, you have to do drive rails. It's a much easier way. Much okay. easier way. So, You're going to have and, to show me. Yeah. You know, and, uh, this will walk people through how to use a roundover bit, how to use a compression bit, how to design up this taper. Um, anyway, so let's just say you're going to make a bunch of these, 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 and you're kind of switching throughout the day. Right. <clears throat> so you don't want to have to, you want to set fixtures here. You want to have like, okay, yeah. bam, we're going to do Merry Christmas. You plug in Merry Christmas. So, and then at 10 o'clock, you're going to do a bunch of lion heads. Then at 2 o'clock, you do pizza peels, and you're going back to Merry Christmas before the day goes out. Right. So you want fixtures. You want something to be preset so you can just punch them. You can switch whenever you want. That's where work offsets come in. And this, okay. this is what, this is what uh, limit switches help you do. This is our machine limit area. Okay. Now this is the soft limit area. And this, oh, use a different color. Which one? Blue or red? Red. Red. Okay. That's machine zero. Are you getting bored? Nope. Okay. All right. So now we have our Merry Christmas block right there. Okay. We have our lion right here. Okay. And then we have our pizza peel here, right here. And everything, this pizza peel is on a board, right? We have to cut it out of the board. Right. Okay. Right. So now when we, when you design, you have to design from your start point, right? You, you create that. You create that Z. This, yeah, the zero point. Zero it's point X, 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 Y, Z, zero. zero. But we're going to go with X, Y right now because we're looking down on top of the machine. Okay. The Z is only relevant to whether you're working off the top of the project or the bottom of the project. Right. Or somewhere in between. <clears throat> so now we've got three things we're swapping out all day long. And we've set our zero points. Right there, there, and there. Well, every time you switch, do you want to go back and re-zero your Z for each corner? No. 
Okay. So what we've done is we've created a zero, zero, zero point, X, Y, Z, zero point. We're the machine zero. Right. Key, key term. Then we have our work offsets. Okay. Okay. So there's machine zero. Machine zero and work offset. For work offsets, you remember I've talked to you about G54, G55? Yes. So there's G54, G55, on up to G59. Now there are other work offsets, but you don't need to worry. These are the ones that you'll end up be working with. Now we have a machine zero. We home the machine. Okay. And you're ready to go with any one of those because you have set the Merry Christmas to G55. And what you have done is you switch in your software to G55. Right. You know that little bar on the... the on the top corner. The top corner of G Center. Okay. That's going to be in uh, all software. G54, 55, 56. So you go to G55 and then you go over and you zero your project. Okay. Okay, you take your, your router bit and you always know where things are at. And this is, this is still really basic machining. Mm -hmm. But so now you've set X, Y, and Z at zero for G55. Those are horrible zeros. <laughs> now over here is G56. You're going to set your software G56 and the control software. Okay. Like in G Center in that upper right corner. Okay. And then you're going to move your tool over to here. And you're going to zero your X, Y, and Z. Okay. And then. And because it's on this, it's not changing this one? Right. Well, not yet. Well, they'll tell you exactly what. Okay, so the next one, here, let's just go into here, G57. I was hoping you were going to say G57. Oh. i got to move my tool over here, and we set 0, 0, 0. In the G code, when the, in the G code, we're going we're gonna to say in the first line, G57. Okay. Right? And immediately, what that says is, from this home reference point, G57 is, is that far up. And that right there, that That's far over. over. Okay. Okay, so what it's doing is using the machine zero as okay. its reference point for every one of these work offsets. Okay, so it's not basing it off of each other, just this one. Yeah, yeah. With Without the, the homing, all these are pretty much worthless. Okay. Because the, the, the work offsets are there to uh, to help you be this flexible, to have all kinds of projects, like the pizza peel and that. And it's, so if you if you want to start a business, if you want to start a CNC business, you have multiple projects, then this is what you do. You get the homing uh, sensors with your machine. And then, and then you... Uh, Set up your fixtures. Now you've got a little slot that your Merry Christmas block falls into all the time, a oh. uh, way to hold it. And then you don't even have to come over and set your tool. You don't have to set X, Y, and Z manually. Okay. Or using that probe. That, the program, right. the G55. Or using the probe. You just load the G code and it's going to start to run the G code. And it already has, because of that, G55. The machine home lets it know that G55 is a certain distance away from that home. Okay. Is that making sense? Yes. Say it to me. Okay. So, this is the almighty home. The this almighty home. Good way to put it. The end all be all. And from here, it knows all. Um, <laughs> She's good. <laughs> uh, and then in here, it's the different rooms in the home. Yeah. And it knows how many steps to get to each room by when you tell it where each room is and then it will always know because the walls don't move. Exactly, that, that's a really good way of putting it. it it's kind of like uh, creating a home, home base on a map. Yeah. Right? Without this, without that homing sequence and those homing sensors that tells that there's a home position it's like having a map with no start point. Without the you are here sticker. Exactly, exactly. So you have to create it by moving the machine manually over to the 
to the, the position you want to start at, and then you have to set your zero. Okay. Okay, so the centers for the home always gives it the machine zero, a reference for all your other work offsets. Right. And that's what homing is for. So, do you need sensors on every single machine? And the answer is no, you don't need it if you're just going to do it for hobby work or project work. If, but if you are going to move in the direction of, of, uh, of business, then yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> the other way that this comes in handy, I just thought of this. So you you know on on the machine that we the other machine, yeah. You know, I have the grids on there. Yes. Okay. So you have a grid. You can create a grid, a two by two grid or a four by four grid, and the corner of that grid is the home position. And then you can put a project down, and you can manually type in x zero y x. Let's just say it's right there. It's yeah. two four over two up. You can type in G0, G20, X4, Y2, the machine will automatically go to that position. Uh, so your grids are a good reference point. Like a chessboard. Yeah. Yeah, but you know 86. but you know every corner of the chessboard. Right. Because you know that you've got a zero point and then you've got every from that zero point everything's two inches out. Right. Right. Okay. Making sense? Yes. All right. Let's do it. All right. If you guys got as much out of that as I did, please give us a like below. If you want to see me more, let him know. You know. Now the comments. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.